This is one of the most horrific stories in the history of Hollywood. I mean, unless you've been living under a rock, you've no doubt heard about Cassie Ventura, Cassie on the show, give it up for Cassie. who went through the darkest moments of her life as a domestic abuse victim to Hollywood's billionaire mogul, Sean Diddy Combs, who she thought was gonna help her achieve her dreams of a being a pop star. Sadly, that didn't happen. However, the beautiful part of her story is the peaceful life she is living now with her dream man and beautiful daughters, but let's travel back to the year where it all began, 1986. Cassandra Elizabeth Ventura was born in the town of New London, Connecticut on the 26th of August, 1986 to Stacy and Roderick Ventura, who are of different races, her mother an African-American Mexican descent, and her father a Filipino lineage. Cassie attended the Williams School, a prep school on Connecticut College's campus, and began modeling when she was just 14 years old, posing for local businesses and fashion magazines, as well as a few music videos. Soon after, she relocated to New York City, where she kept modeling while studying at the Broadway Dance Center. Whilst in New York, Cassie began booking print and commercial modeling gigs, and at the same time, her journey in the music industry began when a record producer, Ryan Leslie got a hint of her talent when they both met at a club in late 2004 and they worked together to write a duet titled Kiss Me and eventually signed her to his record label Next Selection Lifestyle Group. Ventura's first single Me and You was written and produced by Leslie in 2005 and became an instant club hit in Germany. Around the same time Sean Diddy Combs heard the song in a club and was immediately a fan of Ventura's talent. This led to Diddy and Cassie's first meeting in 2005 when she was 19 and he was 36. Diddy's label Bad Boy Records partnered with Leslie's Next Selection Lifestyle Group to release Ventura's debut album. With the joint venture, the singer's debut album, Cassie, was released in 2006. It became a huge hit, and Cassie soon became the latest star in town, earning her an army of fans all over the globe. The album sold a smashing number of over 300 KK copies in the US. The lead single, Me and You, peaked at number three on Billboard Top 100 and remained in top 40 for four months. A few months later, she was rumored to be getting dropped by Bad Boy label because of her poor stage performances, but Diddy came to her defense and said, some people are gonna have good days and bad days. I'm gonna be with her until she gets it right. Diddy said. Cassie later posted on MySpace that, I'm aware that my life performances have been pretty bad, no excuses. I'm still getting over stage fright. I'm not what people are making me out to be. I am a 19 year old girl who is single and working my ass off. It's great that Cassie owned up to her mistakes, which after that, a second single was released titled Long Way to Go. This song was well received, but it failed to make big breaks, which later on led to Cassie ending her relationship with Ryan Leslie in 2007 and began working on her second album, with Diddy confirming she was working with producers, including Kanye West and Pharrell Williams for her second album, Connecticut Fever, originally scheduled to be released in September 2007, but it never materialized. That same year, Nicki Minaj released The Boys featuring Cassie, which failed to chart in the US and landed at 101 in the UK. Later that year in 2007, relationship rumors started circulating of Cassie and Diddy dating, but Diddy denied the rumor since he was still with Kim Porter at the time, but he later split with Kim Porter's, then going public in 2012 with Cassie. They started attending various events. She opened up about their romance and said, just being around him is a completely inspiring experience. Cassie was later seen wearing a huge diamond ring that was posted on Instagram by Diddy with the caption, baby, do you like it? I just wanna give you what you like. The fans speculated that they were engaged, but these rumors were denied by Diddy's representatives. However, in 2015, Diddy cheated on Cassie with Gina Hoon, and this led Cassie to break up with him, but they got back together soon. In March 2015, Ventura's boyfriend, Sean Diddy Combs, announced he would return to producing and revealed he would be producing songs for Ventura's second studio album. However, her second album was pushed and delayed multiple times, but later released and renamed Electro Love. Unfortunately, they didn't see much success and failed to rock the charts, but Cassie has worked hard to produce 13 music videos, 20 highly successful singles, one mixtape, and two studio albums. She also started acting and appeared in two films, The Perfect Match 
In 2016, it was announced Ventura would return to acting, playing the lead role in the romantic comedy, The Perfect Match. It was released in 2016. At the same time, according to TMZ, in 2016, Cassie wanted to break up with Diddy, but it turned into a heated argument as he did not want to break up and grab her phone that Cassie's mother had to call the cops, but no criminal charges were made against Diddy. Shortly after that, Diddy was again spotted with Gina that triggered Cassie for a breakup because she was ready to take their relationship to the next level, but he never popped the question. So she got tired of it. And after sharing a 10 year relationship with Diddy, Cassie decided to call it quits with the music mogul in October 2018 and left the Bad Boy Records. And to celebrate her freedom, she released the song Love a Loser. Shortly after that, Cassie and Alex reportedly started dating. She had met Alex Fine through her ex Diddy at the gym when he had introduced him as her personal trainer at the time they were still dating. They announced their engagement in August 2019 and two months later, the pair got married in Malibu, California. Their wedding photos were even published on Vogue's website. According to a report from TMZ, Diddy felt betrayed as he suspected that Cassie had cheated on him with Alex, whom he had hired as a trainer for his girlfriend. However, sources close to Cassie later told TMZ that Diddy's timeline is wrong. And the pair did not start dating until after she broke up with Diddy. Diddy later sent a congratulatory message to Cassie and Alex after they announced that they were expecting their first child together. Congratulations, I wish you all nothing but love and happiness. God bless, he said. Cassie and Alex share two daughters, Frankie and Sonny Fine. However, on November 16, 2023, Cassie filed an explosive federal lawsuit against her former partner, Sean Diddy Combs, under New York's Adult Survivors Act, which gave victims a one-time, one-year window to sue and institutions, even if the statute of limitations had run out. She made a statement when the suit was filed. After years in silence and darkness, I am finally ready to tell my story and to speak up on behalf of myself and for the benefit of other women who face their relationships. She claims Diddy subjected her to a decade long cycle that she first met Combs in 2005 when she was 19 and he was 37. In the lawsuit, she alleges that Combs controlled nearly every aspect of her life from her career to having access to her personal medical records. She claims he was multiple times a year and that he often plied her with coke. The complaint also claims that Combs forced Ventura she claimed Diddy got drunk during a freak off around March 2016. Woke up and began screaming at her. Singer says she never went to the police because she was afraid that doing so would merely give Mr. Combs another excuse to hurt her. She also alleges that following a dinner in 2018, Combs forced himself while she repeatedly said no and tried to push him away. Ventura says she ended the relationship for good afterward. One incident also including that Combs had rapper Kid Cudi's car blown up when he found out Cudi was romantically interested in her. In her lawsuit, she referred to multiple witnesses who saw the take place. One of them is her friend, singer-songwriter Tiffany Red, and also Beyonce and Jay-Z, who were allegedly edited out of the original lawsuit filed by Cassie because they knew what was happening to Cassie down to the graphic details because they allegedly witnessed Diddy strike her and push her down at one of Diddy's parties. Beyonce was visibly upset. Apparently, Diddy got on his knees and apologized to Cassie, Beyonce, and Jessica. Following all the incidents in the lawsuit, social media went on fire with many people rallying for Cassie's justice. Diddy immediately settled the lawsuit within a day of filing. Raffman, Diddy's lawyer, said that the settlement is in no way an admission of wrongdoing. I have decided to resolve this matter amicably on terms that I have some level of control. Also, Combs said, we have decided to resolve this matter amicably. I wish Cassie and her family all the best. Love. Following the lawsuits, a few months later, Diddy's home was raided by the FBI and Combs lawyer, Aaron Dyer, maintained that his client is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Diddy vehemently 
denied all of his accusers' allegations. I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. However, in May 2024, CNN obtained and published a video of Combs grabbing hallway in 2016, which is quite similar to the allegations in her lawsuit. She alleged that Diddy paid the hotel staff $50,000 for the hallway security footage from that evening. Following the leak, Ventura's lawyer told CNN, the gut-wrenching video has only further confirmed the disturbing and predatory behavior of Mr. Combs. Words cannot express the courage and fortitude that Ms. Ventura has shown in coming forward to bring this to light. After the video was made public, Cassie's husband, Alex, came out with a statement also, showing support for his wife and condemned domestic abuse. What a king he is. Holmes later posted an apology video on Instagram. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I got into going to therapy, going to rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace, Combs said. I'm so sorry. However, people condemned his apology to be self-centered and more about himself. Ventura's attorney responded to the apology in a statement saying, Combs' most recent statement is more about himself than the many people he has hurt. When Cassie and multiple other women came forward, he denied everything and suggested that his victims were looking for a payday. In late May, Cassie released a statement on domestic violence, saying she was grateful for all the support she's received in the wake of the footage becoming public. The outpouring of love has created a place for my younger self to settle and feel safe now, but this is only the beginning. Domestic violence is the issue, she wrote on Instagram. Thank you to everyone that has taken the time to take this matter seriously. My only ask is that everyone open your heart to believing victims the first time. Unfortunately, he, LA County DA's office, explained that the depicted conduct occurred in 2016 and they would be unable able to press charges due to the timeline restrictions for prosecuting assault cases. Hmm, I've never heard of this before. Anyways, Cassie's story came out victorious because despite all the trauma she was put through, she got the man of her dreams, her beautiful daughters, who would see how strong mommy was, and also her distinct voice and versatile talents leaves her with a widespread acclaim of loyal fans who love and will fight for her justice. No woman should go through what she went through. She was just 19 when she got entangled with this whole mess. But guess what? Another woman who has gone through a lot of tragedies who deserves her own story is Megan Thee Stallion. Her story is worth watching. Click here to watch, and if you or someone you know has been a victim of human trafficking, it was available 24 hours a day through the National Human Trafficking Hotline. Have a great life.